Hey, Michael here. You've seen him on VinWiki. You've heard him preach crypto. Today we're talking about Peter, bite-sized Bitcoin. So you might have noticed that today this is the third upload. Congratulations, Peter. You inspired me. So what Peter is currently doing, he has two main channels. A lot of people know him as the Ty Lopez of crypto. Okay, not really, but he has a Lamborghini. He has a garage and he films in his garage. And that, that's all that you really need to know. He has one channel, Bite Size Bitcoin, and another decentralized TV that he works with his partner on. And there's one thing that's really, really hard not to notice, and that's the fact that he uploads like Gary Vaynerchuk, but more. He is the less paranoid cousin of Alex Jones. Seriously, that man uploads like 20 times a day. And that's exactly what Peter is doing. It's all about content is king for a lot of influencers, but forget about that fact. Forget marketing just content in general a website a YouTube channel sure that plays quite nicely a blog but any form of content now in 2018 especially revolving around cryptocurrencies or some foreign topics like going to Mars or immortality or even esports virtual reality AR da 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 whatever topic you choose the companies will come and they will pay you. Now, I will be fair. I've never met Peter. I've never chatted with him. Actually, I did once because I was trying to recruit him for an ICO promotion. And he responded with, sure. Uh, I'm not going to reveal the price, but let's just say it was big. And at the time, I laughed at it. No hard feelings, Peter. I get it. It's business. You got to do what you got to do. I admit it was too high. I think it was ridiculous, but I get where you're coming from because even if most companies reject you, you'll still make a bunch of money. And you don't even care about the money anymore. You got a Lambo. It's like, whatever, bro. Peter's over a combined 100,000 subscribers on both of his channels. That's awesome. And from here, there's only exponential growth. So with a lot of these YouTube channels and cryptocurrencies, you might have noticed that when the market goes down, so do the, the subscriber rates and the view rates and pretty much everything. Growth kind of plateaus for some of the smaller channels. Uh, for the larger ones, it really slows down and there's some movement. And if they do a scandal or whatever, they might even go back. Back. Now, decentralized TV, he's been plowing through the videos. I mean, you see three hours ago, five hours ago, 17 hours ago, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. So all of those were just on one channel. Then you go to Bite Size Bitcoin, it's going to be the same thing. So apart from when he actually sleeps and eats probably breakfast, he's uploading constantly. And the way you do this is maybe on a Sunday or Saturday, you decide to get up early and spend that entire day just recording material. So you have at least one or two episodes scheduled for every single day for the next week, in addition to whatever's happening live. Now, these news stories can be just updates. It doesn't have to be regarding the prices or regarding news. It can just be your opinions or something about, I don't know, hey, this is what I think about Bitcoin. This is where Bitcoin came from, whatever. There's different routes to doing it. Or you can just plow through it every single day. I'm not sure which strategy he uses. I think he's more so the plow through it straight every day because of bite-sized Bitcoin as well. And most of these are pretty easy to do. He has pretty much a template set up and that kind of speeds things up. He also could have an editor or a marketer and he just records because at that point, a lot of these successful entrepreneurs, they want to outsource as much work as possible. So they're doing very little while it looks like they're doing a lot. It's not about working hard, folks. That's part of it. That's great. But you know plenty of people who are working hard every single week for 40 years straight and they're not rich. That's a problem. And they might be saving as much money as you know. They could be the cheapest people out there. But it's about working hard and working smart, efficiently, outsourcing your work, getting the money to be your slave, not you are the slave to the money. There's plenty of ways to have automated incomes right there. And I guess Peter found out, hey, it's working for decentralized TV. So that's when you go to his social blade, which is a fantastic tool out there for those YouTubers or other influencers out there. They're curious about their analytics. They want to go a little bit more in depth. You can see that Bite Size Bitcoin has over 600 uploads right now. So it's catching up to the 1500 or 1600, whatever decentralized has. But there is a sharp period as of last month there was some days where it was growing like 300 subscribers 700 subscribers even 20 subscribers is good 
But then it goes into the negatives, minus 140, minus 206, minus 132, and it goes like that for two weeks straight. Now it kind of decreases a little bit. And this is in addition to the fact that he's gaining subscribers. So the end of the day result is he's in the minus every single day for like two weeks. So in reality, he might've lost a thousand, 2000, 3000 subs. We'll never really know, but there is one pattern you can easily tell that his views do go up. And he did reach a point where, okay, so for the past week and a half, there was only like two days where he's been in the red. The rest were kind of green. Maybe some days were really close to being red, like two subscribers, five subscribers. But it's getting to the point where it's going to be soon at the 100 subscribers every single day, positive mark, while the views have also gone up. So the strategy a lot of these YouTubers are using is to just upload more. And in most cases that does work as long as it's decent quality content. The thing is, if you upload 20 videos out there and one really makes it every single day, that's encouraging further growth. You could grow one, two, five channels and then make a very personalized one video a week, one video every two days, whatever you wanna do, channel afterwards, after you have this network and you connected with a lot of these people, because at the end of the day, YouTube is a giant networking tool. It's the Facebook for business. It's a small community with crypto. You know all the big boys, and once you're in, you're in. It's cool to be there. He's got the money to be able to do whatever he wants. That's awesome. I made a little joke earlier about, hey, he's got a Lambo, he doesn't care. In reality, some of these people may not. Maybe Peter really wants 10 Lambos or Palace, and if so, all the best to him. There's a lot of people out there who complain that, oh no, I'm poor, I'm in debt, I can't do this, I can't do that. There is one thing Gary Vaynerchuk says you can control, and at the end of the day is your hustle. You don't have to be smart or born into a trust fund family. Sometimes working hard is the way to get there, but by working hard, what Gary Vaynerchuk also means is pretty much what I was stating earlier. You have to find the best, easiest routes to get to where you want to. Gary Vaynerchuk is a $400 million company because he has people working underneath him, and he's working with a lot of other high net worth individuals out there. In cryptocurrency, you may not need a hundred, a thousand employees underneath you, but what a lot of these guys are doing is automated sources of income. For example, even with something like Steemit, you got Minnow Booster. Okay, so that's automatically coming in. Or cloud mining or normal mining, which I'm kind of against cloud mining, but whatever, you have it. You have master nodes. You have so many different ways that you're just kind of chilling. At a certain point, it's difficult to lose money if you play it smart. My name is Michael Kubera. That's that. I just wanted to make a video because I was honestly impressed with the amount of uploads he's doing every single day. So all the best to him. Hey, make that money, hustle, and see you guys later.